we need to log on for it. Okay, so it's taking more. Hello, everybody. My name is Driti. Um, I'm talking to you, or I'm having a dialogue with you today from uh, this wonderful, wonderful space, Trust Me, where um, I am a spiritual practitioner as well as a performing artist and uh, somebody who works with energy um, and the universal wisdom of uh, harmony between us and the universe um, intensively. So today, what I'm what I'm really going to uh, talk to you about is something that may come handy to you if you um, if you sort of decide that um, you you know once you just put your mind into it, it might just happen that something might get sparked inside you. So what I'm actually going to offer you are these little tools, and I'll tell you what these tools are for. Um, but what I want you to sort of just let me give you a little background. Why am I offering these tools to you and how do I actually work with these tools? So um, universal wisdom is available to everybody. Every single human uh, being is born on planet Earth with absolute universal wisdom. What happens in our process when we go through life's processes? We tend to either get extremely deviated purely because our belief systems that have been passed down um, through our parents, uh, which is our first point of contact um, into this world, and, and also belief systems that have been cultivated through schools and universities, your teachers, the, uh, the choice of culture that you were born into, or tradition you were born into, the kind of country that you were born into, everything plays a vital role in shaping your belief systems of who you are. So, in essence, if you really want to know yourself, um, there will be countless, countless number of uh, personality traits that you think you are, but in essence, you probably are not. It's just something that you've carried through with your belief systems and the place that you were born in and everything else that has probably shaped you. That's one That's one possibility of why a certain belief system has worked for you or has not worked for you. For example, um, a belief system in, in, in essence would be, in order for me to live in this world, I need to survive. So survival means I need to um, find myself an appropriate job, I need to earn X, X amount of money. So what tends to happen is you move into a space where you are completely attracting a, 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 a thought process where survival becomes a bigger subject for you. So the focus point is survival. Now, what happens in this case? It's not. It's not. It's not that it's bad. But because of this particular belief system that I need to, I need to earn a, I need, I need to get a job to earn X amount of money, and only then will I be settled, and so on and so forth. These are things that have been programmed. These are things that have been purely conditioned within you, with no other intention. Every single intention that has been passed down to you has come from a space of um, love or has come from a space of uh, where people have thought, yeah, this will be good for my child or this is how I can give this person a direction. But this may necessarily not be your point of view. It may not necessarily be what you wish to do in life. It's not something, it has shaped you in a certain way. So you have forgotten or rather you have just lost a complete connection with who you could possibly be if you, if you just get that point that I'm trying to that I'll come to you. Why am I speaking about this? So survival is probably just one example that I'm um, offering. There are many such things in which we have been heavily programmed to believe that X amount of thing or Y amount of thing will lead me to wherever I need to be. But do you even know that that chain of thought is 
is something that you really believe in? Is it something that resonates to you? Now, resonance is a very, very beautiful term. Everything carries the universe. The, the, the nature of the universe operates on resonance. The meaning, the essence of resonance is anything that vibrates, anything that connects, anything that that um, you you feel completely aligned with. There is no separation. Resonance means no separation. Now, go through your life and you will notice that there are many things in your life that are not resonant to you, which is why you will find yourself to be extremely tired or exhausted. You might not find yourself in a particular job or a relationship. You might um, be upset most of the time. You might find yourself to be uh, going through a lot of bouts of un you know, uncalled for uh, pain and you probably not even know where it's coming from. These things happen predominantly when you are not connected to your absolute essence or your source or you're not resonant to your source. Now, I think I'm deviating a little bit, but I'll come to the core of it if you just stick around for a little more while. And I'll then, then I'll offer you practical tools which can actually bring a lot of alignment to um, everything that you have imagined for yourself. So let's come to a very tiny, tiny, tiny uh, concept. Okay, the concept is called I am a human being who is born on Earth to experience this life and then I'm then I die. Right? This is our standard template, right, for human race. Yes, it is. It is. It is the natural uh, law of nature that we are going to live and we are going to die. But death and life, both of them have been offered as an example to you or as a template to you to feel as if that's it. I'm here to do nothing. I'm here to just live my life, uh, get married, maybe have children or work in a nine to five job or, or whatever you've decided for yourself. And then I'm here to die. If you go with this chain of thought, everything around you will look like it's not even needed. It's like you don't even need to be around if, if this is what you really are here to do. So I'm going to give you a very different definition of what life is. And let's let's kind of shift a, a bit of the programming that, that we've all, in some way or the other, we share traits of. So one of the first things I'm going to do today in this moment, and if you stick around, if you're live with me, and if you're watching this, secure your phone or your laptop, wherever you're watching me from. And I want us to just tune in. I'm going to introduce you a lot of people who uh, probably have been following uh, different parts of spirituality or uh, creative pursuits might be familiar with the terminology tuning in. What I want to offer you today is I want you to not remember who you are. I just want you to connect with a source which we are all born from and it's a source that doesn't let you do anything but live. Even, even when you, let's say, even the concept of death will become um, redundant if you understand the essence of life because there is no death. There is no concept of death. Death is only an idea that has been told to you that you are going to die. Yes, you're going to leave the physical body. But, but having said that, there is something within you that is eternally working. It's constantly working towards your highest and most incredible self, your best self. Now, who is that self? It's not this body. It's not this Dhruti or this persona or the, or, or, or the, or the place and country that Dhruti was born in and how she arrived here on this, in this moment chatting with you. None of that. It's this essence of Dhruti, which we also call prana in in the language of yoga and ancient um, uh, science of breathing prana is the life force the life force is something that never dies it never dies examples of life forces when you are excited about something in life when there is no effort when there is no effort in anything you do you will see this in the smallest of things you do not even have to uh, become somebody who's ambitious enough to know what this is all about. Something as small as you pick up a guitar and you start playing because you really like it. You 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 think of a particular place you 
um, you find yourself in uh, in a daydream or something, and you're completely carried away by that. You're excited about something. You're excited about something. It can be something so small, even even maybe uh, preparing a cup of tea for someone, or preparing a cup of tea for yourself, or sitting by the window and just staring at the sun setting. So it can operate in any way. What is important to note here is. I'm sorry, I'm just going to check. Maybe my connection is a little loose. Um, I think I, I'm going to continue. I'm just checking my Instagram feed. OK, never mind. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if the Instagram feed is working, but uh, guys, if it's working on Instagram, please stay put. I'm not able to see it at the moment, but I'm here on Facebook. Um, okay, so we let's let's straight away get into the point. What I'm trying to say is anything that excites you, anything that um, makes you happy, actually happy from within, and it does not have to be an external source of happiness. It can be something very very small. If you can stick to that point, if you can stick to that point of immense happiness, immense excitement, that just means you are connected to the source. You are connected to this thing that has brought you into this world and will always stay with you wherever and at any given point in time, whether you leave this body, whether you're in this body, it's something that will never die. It is something that will never die. There is a, um, there is a three, three words in, in Sanskrit, in, in Vedas, I think, but it's, it's, it's Sat Chit Ananda. Sat Chit Ananda. Ananda is happiness. Sat is truth. Chit is consciousness. Now, imagine in the three words, the last word, which is Ananda, happens to be the pinnacle of if you are operating with truth, consciousness will begin to expand within you and you will reach ultimate bliss. Right now, what is this thing that we talk about ultimate bliss? Why is it so difficult for us to be? Why is it so difficult for us to be unhappy? Oh, sorry, why is it so difficult for us to be happy? Um, and why is it so easy for us to be unhappy? Have you ever wondered about this? This is all what I'm going to discuss in the concept of resonance. The meaning of resonance is your connection with the source. Whatever that source means to you, it does not, you don't have to be religious enough or you do not have to even have a sense of spirituality to understand what the source implies. Source is anything that gets you connected, anything that gets you aligned, anything that gets you excited, anything that gets you in motion, anything that gets you in momentum, anything that gets you in movement, anything that gets you energetically driven, anything that needs no effort, anything that comes to you without resistance. This is the essence of resonance. Resonance eventually means bumping up your frequency so that whichever situation you are in, you do not take any decisions or you do not react based on the emotion that you're going through. Rather, you start operating from a place of a vibrational point of view. So I'm not going to confuse you with a lot of terms. I'm sure a lot of people know about this, but for those who probably heard these things for the first time, I'll simplify it to a practical exercise. So if you're ready, let's begin. And this is something very simple. And then we'll, if we have a few minutes, if you just stick around, I can we can keep discussing what I mean by um, vibrational frequency. So let's now just wherever you are, tap into one emotion. Okay, now this one emotion is going to show up instantly the moment you shut your eyes. Okay, I'm going to guide you and then I'm going to also tell you how to apply this in your homes without any external support, without having to uh, come to me or, or even watch this video. It's something that will come to you naturally. Why? Because this is a natural language. This is a part of your inherent uh, language. It's something you were already born with. And you will know this. Each one of us knows this. And it's so simple. So let's let's just immediately focus on emotion. All right. So the first, the first exercise that we are going to do is tuning into your emotion. Not emotions, tuning into your emotion. All right. So can I ask you all to just close your eyes?
just notice your natural breath without your interference without your doing anything there is a breath that is naturally moving in and out helping you to function with optimal harmony in this body just notice the natural flow of breath do not make any conscious effort to change the rhythmic pattern of the breath just notice how this breath might even be shallow you might not even feel your breath or you might feel that you are suppressing your breath just notice it it's very subtle you just have to witness it's pure observation and now as you notice this breath no conscious breathing don't do anything automatically an emotion will come up it will come because your breath is the carrier of all your emotions and maybe some other time in a free talk i'll probably explain to you what this means in essence but for now let's go with this theme that your emotions are your your breath is carrying your emotions so whether you are experiencing confusion doubt excitement anything doesn't matter don't label it yeah just witness the emotion as it comes now you will notice that this particular emotion is changing into different emotions as well or it may not even change but if it happens just be a witness to it now let's say any emotion that comes up fear doubt confusion or you're probably feeling low or there is no direction doesn't matter just feel this emotion and let it become present you will immediately notice that you are able to witness your emotion as it is there is no relationship at the moment it's just you witnessing your emotion alongside your breath All right now I'm going to ask you to do something don't get scared but just follow the instructions something very subtle I want you to stop your breath just hold your breath for those who are not able to hold their breath take a deep breath in and hold your breath hold your breath do not breathe do not do anything hold your breath for as long as you can and if you are not able to hold it just release by exhaling and once again allow the normal breath to function and when you feel that your normal breath has arrived once again hold your breath stop your breath the longer you can stop your breath the better but the moment you feel that you're not able to hold your breath for too long release allow the natural breath to take over once again stop your breath just do that for few seconds the key to stopping your breath is you can take a deep inhalation hold the breath or you can naturally stop the breath you will subtly notice for those who have already become sensitive to their breath as well as their emotion you will instantly notice that when you stop your breath when you cease the breath it reignites your 
breath again so you immediately have a different shift like you will have a shift you will notice a shift your breath will take on a new cycle a fresher cycle maybe a more refined cycle you will notice this just keep doing this for few seconds make sure you close your eyes i'm not demonstrating anything so just close your eyes and follow my instruction now you will do this till you feel completely relaxed now you'll notice that the emotion that you had earlier is not there right now till i told you so now that i've told you that you had an emotion earlier it might just show up as a reminder ah yeah i had that emotion earlier right so it won't show up right now and you will notice how neutral you are to this now allow your natural breath to flow do not stop your breath do not do anything what i want you to do now do is once you observe your natural flow i want you to place your hand on your heart place both your hands on your heart or one hand on your heart whatever comes comfortable to you just place both your hands on your heart and now i want you to breathe with a smile on your face it will be deliberate for some but try it you will you will witness the magic instantly so please both your hands on your heart with your eyes closed just smile now with a smile i want you to just appreciate there is a breath that is working within you without your interference so i want you to now smile and with each movement of your smile i want you to take a breath in take a deep breath in and just exhale like your sign don't forget the smile don't forget the smile keep doing this and keep expanding your smile even if you don't want to just try it if you're online and you're here only for few minutes give this tiny exercise a shot i promise you you will witness the magic just breathe deeply you are purely into your breath now you're just breathing deeply and you're expanding your smile and as you're expanding your smile you are now tuning into your highest highest most ecstatic ecstatic state just suddenly feeling good it could be anything you might even get a thought you might even relate it to somebody you're probably in love with it could be anything or some something you you really wish to do in life and you see that happening for you find a good place to be in so that's why i'm saying use the smile as a mechanism to find a good place to be in and breathe into that that is a vibration that is a vibration this place of feeling good is a vibration just keep doing it just keep extending just place your hand on your heart use your entire body to expand the smile and find an exciting and most beautiful place to be in be there now just witness with your breath witness this wonderful space or place that you are in within yourself is expanding the vibration is expanding it's expanding enormously it's 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 like a beautiful high it's pure ecstasy you're just there and it's just beautiful it's out of proportion don't worry about it but it's exciting it's beautiful it might even make you cry it doesn't matter let it come out good space good space it could be about anything about how you feel who you are everything anything it doesn't matter don't even analyze let it come and let it expand just use your breath and the smile to expand if you want to laugh you can laugh you can do anything you want and then when you feel that you have reached that point of extremely ecstatic vibration vibration 
feel the resonance this is this is the key 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 point you have to touch feel the resonance that i spoke to you about with this excitement this excitement is connection this excitement is connection nothing else there is no theory to it just this excitement is a connection to the source whatever the source means to you there is no separation between you and the source it's happening simultaneously it's moving simultaneously it's coexisting it's synchronizing it's moving i want you to now start feeling this connection there is no separation don't forget the smile keep keep expanding it your whole body starts expanding when you're smiling use your breath use your breath now because the breath is now functioning at its most natural rhythm let it happen if you feel that if you feel that your body needs to shake you can shake it a little bit as well i'm doing mine right now you can shake your feet you can shake your knees it will come to you don't worry don't take an effort just keep going with this rhythmic flow that is happening it's a beautiful flow just don't interfere now use this incredibly profound flow ask for what you want just ask for what you want it could be anything just ask for what you want it could just be simply i want to be happy ask and you shall get we shall operate from this frequency ask and it's done not in the future it's happened right now it has vibrationally shifted within your body right now this very moment this is the moment it has happened right now there is no future there is no past it will happen nothing it's happening right now if you want it to happen just ask for what you want now when you ask for what you want start expanding that energy once again in your heart allow your heart center to just expand and just feel feel this connection and when you feel that you have secured this beautiful ecstatic connection with the source you have now reached your highest vibrational source this is who you are not your belief systems not where you were born where you come from which language you speak none of that this is who you are you are pure energy you are pure refined ultimate ecstatic energy you are born to experience everything everything in your highest good anything and everything all your relationships will come from here when you recognize this connection that you have we all have it it's in harmony there is no separation when you feel that you have achieved maximum or ultimate connection all i want you to now do is place both your palms on your navel center or your abdomen your belly and just once again take one conscious deep breath in conscious and sigh exhale and sigh slowly and steadily just ground yourself and come back still be in that ecstatic state completely just slowly see this beautiful ecstatic state fully aligned you are completely grounded you are completely grounded you are here you're here you're fully present everything that you have done so far in your life everything that you've experienced has brought you to this moment this moment and i want you to just feel grateful for this moment i just say thank you thank you to the universe thank you to god thank you to source spirit energy whatever the term is the term is irrelevant the feeling is more important the feeling is more important just say thank you thank you for this moment thank you for this experience from here from this moment from this experience 
I achieve everything I want. I get everything I want. I'm truly, truly, truly blessed. Everything I say, I touch, I feel is full. I don't have to take an effort. I just have to connect with my connection, with my source. And I just have to enjoy every moment of my life. Thank you. Thank you for being so that I can be. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. And open your eyes with a smile. So this is how you expand your um, vibrational frequency. This is how you connect deeply to the source without any effort. So you can try this at home. You can try this at home. I'll simplify it for you. All you have to do is take, just close your eyes, witness your breath. If the anxiety levels are very high and you're extremely restless, you're not grounded, what you can do is you can just consciously take a breath in and exhale slowly. You do this couple of times till you normalize the breath. Once you normalize the breath, just feel the emotion that you are experiencing. Don't name it. Don't do anything. Absolutely just be present with the emotion. Don't do anything. Don't do anything. Okay? Don't judge it. Don't say anything. Let the emotion come up. The moment the emotion comes up, this is your key. The moment you feel the emotion, stop your breath. Yeah? Now, whoever has watched the video or whoever has experienced it, you're very well aware of how to stop your breath, right? It's very easy. You can easily stop your breath. You don't have to do this or this. Just stop your breath. Hold. I'm going to give you a tiny key. Try and hold your breath in your navel center, in your abdomen or the Hara Chakra. This is the center point. Simplify terms in the, in the belly button. You will notice that point, right? Just hold your breath there. Even if you don't notice it, it doesn't matter. Leave it. Just hold your breath. Hold your breath for as long as you can. Release. Let the breath normalize. Once it's normal, once again, hold the breath. Do this couple of times. I don't want to give you a number. Do this couple of times till you have reached a natural state of your breath. Once you have reached a natural state, when you feel, see, I'll tell you, one of the key things to know here is relaxation. The more relaxed you are, the, the better you will be able to connect to anything in this world, right? The amount of wisdom and beauty and knowledge and love and everything that will pour in will be crazy. You just have to relax. Relaxation means you are able to achieve anything in life. Anything. Trust me. Just relax. So how do you relax? You relax like this. Right? So you, the, the, more, the more you stop your breath, you exhale, you normalize the breath. So think about it that your breath is taking a new birth. <laughs> so you keep developing the number of uh, new breaths like this. And when you feel fully relaxed, okay, you must feel fully relaxed. You must not do this. If there is anxiety, if there is restlessness, if you're disappointed, keep doing this. Keep doing this. I promise you, you will see results. But you need to practice this at home. Little bit you have to do. Little effort you have to do. But it's effortless effort. So you do this. And when you reach that point um, where the breath has become normal and natural, and not normal, sorry, I take that word back. Forgive me. Natural. And it has picked on a rhythm. You relax. Once you relax, you place your hand on your heart. Immediately break into a smile. And as soon as you break into a smile, I'm going to show this to you. For those who've probably missed it or are probably doing it for the first time, you just keep doing it. You know, it, it should feel like your smile is extending so much that it will break everything. Your face will also tear apart. It should feel that amazing. So if you keep smiling like that and just breathe into your heart, breathe into the, to the highest point and then reach a state where you feel absolute 
intensity of ecstasy and an amazing like amazing high just feel that energy it's, that is the vibrational field that's it stay there stay there stay there stay there stay there and just stay there for as long as you can and then that energy will be carried forward throughout your day you can do this in the morning you can do this there is no time you can even do it while um, you know you're you're just having a chat with a friend you can in fact when you're having a chat with a friend you can even do something so small i can give it to you you can just within your heart center you can just close your eyes and just feel this this sense of ecstasy in your heart because you're chatting to a friend obviously if you're having a and then you'll also notice that when you're with your friend your friend will notice this vibration so a lot of these things will happen but i don't want to confuse you try this at home um this is something very small and i do a lot of um i do a lot of these uh, wonderful gifted beautiful exercises at just be i take workshops every saturday in this amazingly blessed place and i'm so grateful that each one of you um endured my haphazard chat but uh, it, it, it's it's coming straight from the heart and there is no brainer in this it's it's something that each one of us can do and it's beautiful so um please please try this and send me your feedback if you can and please forgive me for any errors that i might have caused in my conversation um i'm not very good at this but i'll get better as we as we go about but i'll see you on saturday if you feel like coming to just be and the themes are very very different but they're all about increasing your vibrational frequency about awakening and literally that and so much more exciting things so Take care. I wish you all the love. I wish you so much, so much beauty, so much love, so much abundance, and everything good and amazing your way. Thank you so, so, so much. Bye. Yeah, save it or delete it.